Word clouds are a clever way to visualize text data, but in Excel they used to be awkward to create, requiring add-ins or VBA. However, since Python integration landed, it's become a lot easier. In this example, there's a collection of hotel reviews. If you want to generate a word cloud based on these in A1, how do we do that? Start by typing equals py open bracket to enter Python mode. Now we can begin the code. First, import the word cloud class from the library to enable access to the functionality needed. Then assign the variable reviews underscore cells to pull in the reviews from the worksheet range using the Excel function. Create a variable called reviews underscore text that merges all the reviews into one long string separated by spaces. The final line creates the word cloud with a white background, generates it from the combined text, converts it into an image, and then renders it in Excel. Press Ctrl Return to confirm the code. To make the word cloud appear directly in the cell, choose Excel value in the Python output dropdown. Now you can clearly see what people think of the hotel, with the biggest words having the most instances. There are a host of parameters you can take advantage of, and these are all part of the word cloud documentation. I've included the link in the write-up. Background underscore color is one of them, and that can easily be changed to something else. Or say you want all insignificant words to be considered, like the, and, and was. Just add stop words equals set with empty brackets inside the word cloud call, and they will be displayed. Or maybe you only want words that are 10 letters or greater. In that case, it's as simple as including min underscore word underscore length equals 10. So lots of things to play with there to customize your word clouds. It's a great feature to use.